Yo, what is up YouTube? My name's Aaron and today we are playing some World at War and the reason for this is because myself and Hey I'm Tyler are coming for the world record on this map too. Right now it is, I think it's about a 42 or a 43 and this is on World at War and we are, I think it's all, I think I was just told 49. So we're definitely going to beat it. We are trying to cover the leaderboards now as you guys know black ops 1 is coming out and we are also going to try to go for most of the leaderboards there i think we're going to go for the world at war maps because most of the co-op games on black ops 1 are around 40 hours well i wouldn't say 40 hours it's like two days oh no it's about a day to two days on most of the maps for number one spot and we just don't have 24 hours to 40 hours to spare on a game like that, especially not right now. I mean, maybe we might try to go in for it, but what we have set right now are three to four maps. We're going to be working on, we already have number one spot for Shadows of Evil. We're going to be going for the Giant here very soon. We already have the first room challenge on Shadows of Evil, and with my boy Chadio or Anxiety Boss, we are going for the Dead Ops Arcade Co-op world record now i think our first game that we played we got like oh i want to say it was somewhere in the 50s it could have been in the 40s that video will be uploaded tomorrow probably and you know we had some fun i still have a lot of learning to do i think on black ops 1 the highest i ever got on dead ops was maybe like out i don't even think i left the first uh, the second place that you teleport to so that tells you something and the fact that i'm playing with Honestly, two of the best Dead Ops Arcade people. Hey, I'm Tyler and uh, Anxiety Boss, uh, which the person I played with the 93 in. So I am really just playing with some of the best zombie players right now. And we are all having fun on Black Ops 3. It's going to be Black Ops 1 here in a little bit. And right now, Tyler and I on PC, this is on PC, by the way, uh, mouse and keyboard all the way we were playing a little bit of world at war we might try to play this map again and try to take that world record honestly i have no idea how long the game lasts but i was having trouble here trying to get the flamethrower out of the box which if you guys know on world at war that was the wonder weapon well technically the ray gun was but you know you got to do what you got to do and at the end you're going to see our downs and the funny thing is he had three downs and my down was uh the last down of the game but it said i had two downs and i don't know i guess that's a glitch on world at war i didn't go down this entire game until the game ended but you know i don't even know what happened so if you guys are wondering about the strategy for this if you guys want to put in world at war on your consoles and start going ham just this is the strategy one person in this room do not open those steps do not open the other steps one person has the ray actually both people have the ray gun and one person has the flamethrower preferably the one that's running in the spawn uses the flamethrower so stuff like that doesn't happen and just know on this map revives are almost impossible to get so you need to play with someone that you can trust not to go down but that's been into this video so the end of this video i just want to ask you guys what you want to see on my channel now i know i've been gaining a ton of new subscribers and they're not all multiplayer subscribers and i know i have some og subscribers that are multiplayer but some people like seeing zombies because i do understand zombies can be difficult and not that many people can bust out 90s you know not that many people can bust out 30s i mean it's different for each case so let me know what you guys think and right here is where you can see we're starting to go down i got trapped in the end and it's kind of weird because I remember playing World at War and that was the number one spot I went down on because maybe I think on Black Ops 1 there's like a barrier that stops me from getting in this one little corner and I just instantly died. So if you guys enjoyed this, I will see you tomorrow with a brand new commentary.